Welcome to another edition of Journey of a Basketball Player of France, Volume 2. So, um, as I said in the previous episode, uh, I'm working uh, French U.S. camps, and I had the opportunity to to work this this summer. Um, basically, it was an internship to get certified on the pro FTS uh, training methods and uh, get gain a certification and also uh, teach kids how to uh, play the game of basketball. So um, this is the first camp that we've done. And you can see uh, the camp that we're at, that's Ryan. Um, we are in dormitories at a college. So uh, I'm taking you to the room, just downstairs, the entertainment room, game room, and uh, toward outside. So we ran a camp here uh, on this college campus. Um, the kids are getting dropped off. Uh, and the beauty of this was we got to work with a bunch of kids all over, not just in France, but um, in Europe in general, uh, with many different backgrounds as well. Uh, we had kids from Belgium, we had kids from uh, the Netherlands, uh, France, Italy, you know, kids of African descent uh, from Morocco, you know, from Algeria. I'm um, just all over. So uh, today, or this day, was a um, day of registration. Kids get registered in, parents drop them off, you know, say their final goodbyes uh, for the week before they have to pick them up for um, a whole week. So we had the kids the whole week, and uh, we did basketball activities as well as. You know, other activities outside of basketball, as far as like team building and uh, just extracurricular stuff like movie nights and stuff like that. Over there, I'm pointing to the, the cafe or cafeteria and back toward that way is, is the gym. And at the same time, we had uh, other camps going on, like the building over there was a soccer camp ran by the professional soccer team and they had kids as well. Um, this camp was a pretty big camp for, and this is also my first camp. So I believe we had around 70 kids. And since we had uh, these kids, you know, with us, sleeping with us, eating with us, um, he had, you know, different activities compared to, you know, other camps. Um, all the camps vary, but, uh, you know, certain activities you can do, certain activities you can't do. Since we had these guys for a while, uh, we could do uh, clinics uh, within the day. So these guys, you see, they're getting ready uh, for clinics and uh, different sessions. You know, they'll go to one clinic with uh, do individual training, some of them split up, some some of them stay in the room. So it all depends on on the day. Um, these guys right here are some of the main guys. <laughs> so you see, he's he's pretty big. He's I think 14 or 15. He's pretty big, 14, 15 year old. And uh, they always wanted to you know play one on one and and have fun. So. We were pretty much we had a we had a nice uh, staff here as far as the guys, the coaches. Here's you know the American guys. That's uh, Ryan, my boy Jeremiah right there. That's that's uh, doing a little dance for the camera. Uh, he's here, and then all these guys, you know, um, majority man. These kids, they loved it. And here's Ryan. <laughs> I can't say nothing because, you know, you, you see everybody else is in all black, he's in green. So, you know, uh, 
He stopped ball. That's Izzy. But he runs the Frenchie. Um, Phenoms. He's the head coach. And uh, the the unique uh, part about that was with these camps is we also scouted players t t for the Phenom team. So uh, if they were good enough to play, um, or we thought that they were good enough to play for the Phenom team, we would recommend them so they can uh, get a look for the Phenom team to play on the Phenom team. And uh, they have a really good team. I mean, they played in a, a tournament in Spain, which they played against Real Madrid, um, which is a popular European team in Europe as far as uh, football and basketball. Um, and in football, they're, they're known as a powerhouse, Los Blancos. And in basketball, they're, they're a powerhouse, um, EuroLeague champions um, multiple times. So they, they have a rich history and they actually, I think, lost the Phenom team, lost by two. And from what I was told, uh, those guys had little practice with one another while the Madrid team had, um, they've been together for, for a couple years or a year or so, a year or two or so. So those kids been playing with each other for a while, while these kids in France only been playing with each other for like the tournament or so. You know, maybe they played against each other, you know, in their league games and stuff like that. But as far as being uh, on a team collectively as a whole, you know, it was their first time playing with one another. So um, right now they're gathering up. I think we're doing groups. So um, they're trying to hear the announcements that's going on and uh, which groups to go to. Um, we also separated, you know, skill skill levels, uh, small guys, older guys. So, um, you know, certain kids, they went with certain groups. And uh, we also broke it up. So right here is the schedule. So if, they, if the kids have clinics, not every kid had a clinics. If they did have clinics, they uh, were assigned to a certain coach so guys would have to look up you know the schedule to see uh what coach they were with and we would in do individual training with like a group of kids so it'd be small groups and it will split up and they'll do uh, a, a team session with everybody and then they'll do an individual group session with with the individual coach so um it was a lot of good basketball being taught you know and a lot of, I guess, kids got to obtain some uh, basketball knowledge as well as um, some new skills and and uh, new things to practice with as well. So it's pretty cool. So now we're at a different camp. Um, I'm sorry for the guys. You know, there's going to be. Uh, kids and stuff that might watch my blog and be like, uh, why are you on each show, you know, you know, so-and-so camps, you know, there were so many camps, I couldn't record everything, but um, right now we're in Theix, and this is another big camp that we had, um, this one was special because we were, uh, had a sports camp as well, so they learned different American sports as well, um, right now Javon is doing three-point contests, which he killed. And uh, I think he had the best score. I think he had like seven out of 10 or eight out of 10 shots he made for the three pointer. Uh, this is Jeff, he's doing the skills challenge. And this was like the collective uh, of the week. Like um, certain guys were picked to do the skills challenge and three point challenge. And we also had a dunk contest. I entered my first dunk contest. I've never been in a dunk contest before until that time. But they see me dunking all the time, I guess, when I was, you know, training. So they're like, yeah, you know, we'll just, you know, do a dunk contest with you. So, um, this is Jeff right here, uh, getting his skills challenge in. And I'm not sure if he won or lost or anything like that, but, uh, I think, I think he might have lost this one because it took him a while. 
and it came down to the wire. But um, it was a collective, a collectively, it was a it was a great week um, with those kids as well too. Um, I think we had 70 kids, and we only had it was pretty much all boys. I think we only had one one female hooper out of the whole camp. So it was um, quite interesting. Um, right now we're about to get into the dunk contest festivities. Myself, you know, um, just did some simple dunks to put them down. You know, the young boy right here, you know, he did some creative stuff. I mean, like I said, this is my first time being in a dunk contest, so um, right off the right off the mark, I wasn't really thinking about you know doing some creative stuff. I was just more thinking about putting my dunks down, and uh, it was a pretty good uh, dunk contest. You know, the the crowd liked it, and you could see the crowd in the stands and stuff like that. We had a good crowd. I think we had maybe like 100, 200 people watching us. So you know, the the kids and the parents, stuff like that. You know, they they watched us do the skills challenge three-point contest, dunk contest in the game as well. So um, it was a pretty good crowd. You know, everybody, I uh, hope, was entertained. And, you know, the guys on the other side, they always had something to say. <laughs> you know, they always root for, for home. So, you know, it's very interesting. But, um, yeah, man, I think... They wanted me to go another time. And I was like, nah, like I let him do it because we we're kind of, I was kind of tired. Like the guys and I, we were tired. We really didn't get a break from doing uh, the camp all day. And then uh, coming back that night to, you know, to play the game, do the dunk contest and, and everything else. So um, he just, he took it. Game time. So we won. Um, the team that we played, these guys, they were uh, pretty young. I think they're like under 20 or something like that, under 19, under 20. So these guys are young guys. And we know we blew them out by 60. You know, they still have some potential. Um, like my man right here, the dunk contest winner. I liked him. I liked a couple other guys, the guards. Uh, they were pretty tough. So I think this year they should be doing, uh, they should do pretty well. I've heard that uh, last year they did pretty well in their um for their season and they added some new guys because of what they did i think they went to the final four so hopefully they do well again and and move up another another level and get to play some higher competition and then uh afterwards we signed you know autographs and pictures with the kids so this is a mom she's you know talking to me afterwards and uh you know, uh, try to pick my brain on certain stuff. And the kids always ask for pictures and autographs. So this was the time to do everything. They just enjoy themselves. You know, they had a had a great night. And this concludes uh, my my journey in France. Enjoy the pictures. <laughs>